Yeah, Jamie, and how has it helped you to be in the same uh, defensive system for three seasons now? And do uh, you feel like you've got a better understanding of the big picture going into year three? Uh, yes, sir. When I got here my freshman year, everything was new to me. It was hard to understand and really get the concept of everything. But as I started my second season last fall, uh, it just all clicked for me. Last fall camp, I feel like I really uh, got to express my actions on the field and stuff because I knew all the calls. And then this year, I think I know everything that's going on. And just being in the same system with Coach Steele, uh, it helps me out a lot. Next question is from Tom Green. Hey, Jamie. And, uh, back in February, Noah said he expected you to be at the NFL Combine next year. Uh, Jeremiah Dinson said something similar back in December. Just how do you grapple with those expectations when you're entering your first year as a starter? Um, like I said, like my first two seasons here, I played under both of them. So I learned a lot from Noah and I learned a lot from Jeremiah, especially him being the safety ahead of me. They just taught me to be consistent. So like with those expectations, um, it's not really nothing new. I mean, that's the expectation for everybody. But like for me to reach those expectations, uh, I just have to stay consistent, um, just help my teammates and just be the best that I can be and just bring everybody up when I can. Next question is from Nathan King. Hey, Jamie, and hey, thanks for talking with us today. Um, how has your defense been performing, you think, in the two scrimmages? What are what are you guys doing well? What do you think are some things that you guys need to improve on just in those scrimmages? I feel like we've we've done a great job in the past two scrimmages. Um, you know, the offense have been giving us great looks. We've been competing well. Uh, just, I wouldn't say it's too much that we need to get better at. I just feel like it's, like I said, about being consistent. You know, like I said, we did good in both of those two scrimmages. We'll have a third scrimmage and just like have the same stats. Uh, just keep giving relentless effort and keep going to scrimmages over. Jamie, our next question is from Brian Matthews. Hi, Jamie, thank you for being here for us. Uh, you and uh, Smoke uh, got a lot of experience as backups the last two years mostly. Um, now that you're the starters, who are gonna step into y'all's shoes and, and be sort of the uh, next man up behind you? Well, we got it's sort of a rotation right now. Me, Smoke, uh, Jordan as well. But like Chris Thompson, he's a freshman. Um, he's doing really well. You know, he's big, he's physical, he's fast, he's smart as well. So like when I had first got here, um, I was fast. And so like he kind of reminds me of myself. But you know, as he just keeps growing and molding into like the system and getting everything down and like meetings, practices, like repetition and stuff, he'll be great when his time comes. How about to Matthew Hill? How's he sort of fitting in there to safety, and how do you think he's doing? To be honest, I was surprised. I didn't know uh, his footwork would be as good as it is. Uh, you know, coming from receiver, I thought it would be like a hard transition. But, you know, he moves great. He has great uh, breaks. He transitions from the field to come down on the ball. He looks real good out there. Thank you, Jamie. Next question from Bill Cameron. Well, Brian got most of mine, but uh, uh, if you would then, Jamie, and just talk about uh, the defense as a whole. How do you feel about this year's defense as compared to uh, to the last couple of years since you've been here? I feel like we have a great defense this year. We have a lot of leaders, I feel like, on defense. You know, we have a lot of dudes who know what to do, uh, like a lot of 2017 and 2018 kids out there. So we've been together for a while. Um, I feel like we have great chemistry with each other, and I feel we could either be just as good or better than any defense that has played at Auburn before. Next question is from Philip Marshall. Uh, Jamie, just the secondary as a whole, there's new starters, but uh, but a lot of guys that have, have played or newcomers that look like they can play. Just talk about how, how that has all come together to – with, with so many new guys out there? Well, well, with our DB coach, Coach Crime, you know, he's very intense on how we work at practice. So he's going, he's hard on us at practice. Uh, you know, we he always talks about keeping the top on the coverage. So with us, that's our main goal. We never like get anything behind us and just communicate. As we communicate better with each other, we perform better. 
you know, we just have to have 11 cleats set in the ground. You know, all the DBs, the corners, once they get the call and communicate, I feel like we move better as a unit. So that's how I feel like we perform. How important is your position to keep it all that together? Well, as a, right well, as a safety in Coach Steele's uh, defense, you're, you're the quarterback of the defense. So, you know, you have to get everybody set. So that's uh, aligning, like looking at the formation, then lining up, and then getting the call as quick as possible and getting everybody set. So, like, I have to communicate to the linebackers, communicate to the star, the other safety, the corner, and then they communicate to the D-line, give them all the calls that they need. I wouldn't say it's hard, but it's a lot to go through. Um, you have to be able to think fast and play ball. Thanks. Our next question is from Gianna Hahn. Hi, how are you? Um, so we've heard from the linebackers about the new look of the offense. What have been your impressions so far and how have they kind of stretched you guys in different ways since you're now practicing against a different system? Well, with this different seat, uh, different system um, they have a lot of moving parts so like I said um, communication is key for our defense when practicing against their offense and I hope it I think it helps us a lot because like you know we'll play other teams and they'll probably do the same thing and like motions and shifts and stuff like that so as we like adjust to them it just helps us better for future references and helps us be better uh, we've got a follow-up from Tom Green Hey, Jamie, and you mentioned Jordan rotating in there at safety with you guys. Just how valuable is it to have someone like him who can slide in a safety or nickel and just has the experience that he has back there as well? Uh, I feel like it's very important to have someone like him. He can play any position, like you just said. He's very athletic, versatile. He's very smart. So him being in the system just as long as us helps us, like we always have if one man's down, you know, next man up. So that could easily be him or he could easily be out there starting one game at any spot. You know, I think that helps us and he just makes us better by competing. You know, I feel like everybody's job is on display every day. You know, I, I feel like they say starters, but I mean, like when you have somebody like that around you to keep you motivated to keep you practicing hard, I feel like that helps us out a lot. Next question is from Mark. And you mentioned uh, freshman Chris Thompson. His high school coach told me that he was a really mature player in high school and really serious about football. Is, is that something you've noticed about him so far? Yes, like I said, he reminds me somewhat of myself. Uh, he's outgoing, um, but he can be quiet. You know, he's just like a relaxed person, calm person, you know. Uh, but yeah, he is mature on the field. You know, like I said, he's smart, he's fast, physical, he plays hard. And as he keeps going throughout this system, next year, a couple of years, you know, he'll be great when his time is up. Both the safety spots now, you think? I feel like, yes, he can play any position um, out there on the defense. He's big, like I said, he's physical and he's fast. So he could play corner, he has long arms at that. Uh, he's good in coverage for the star position and he's great at safety, you know, practicing, watching him, he does some great things out there. Next question is from Josh Vitale. Hey man, uh, you and Smoke came in together, have been playing together for a long time. Uh, what's your relationship like off the field and how do you guys play off each other when you're on the field together? Well, off the field, you know, he's a funny guy. Um, to be honest, we all like hang out with each other. You know, that 2018 class, Smoke, Tut, Roger and I, all the DBs, we all click together. Like, I just feel like when we're in the meeting rooms, like it's all fun. And then when we're outside, you know, like I said, he's funny. They're all funny. So, I mean, I just feel like we all get along great with each other. And that carries over to the field. You know, you have to have a relationship outside of the practice field to have a relationship on the field. And then when we're on the field, since we have such a great relationship, you know, I know where he's going to be at all the time. He knows where I'm going to be. And his communication skills help me out a lot as well. Our next question is from Bill Marshall. Uh, Jamie, just just talk about what what brought you to Auburn, and uh, and has it been what you expected? Where I'm from, I'm from Jensen Beach. That's where my high school is located. We're like five minutes up the road from the beach. You can literally see the horizon from the top of the stadium. So that's you. That's what I'm used to. Like in Florida, you know, you got the beaches along the club, the coast, the coast, and just going there every weekend and having fun. 
So my first time at Auburn was uh, April, the A Day of 2017. And, you know, just for my first time here, I just loved it. Like the way campus is built, set up, uh, it was just fascinating to me. The way like the environment looks, the people, you know, everybody was great. Uh, the coaches, you know, I just formed a relationship with them quick. It was like, like at first sight, I just knew I could fit in here. And then since I've been here, you know, I loved every second of it. So by us being quarantined over the past few months and at home, you know, it was a real bummer because I felt like I was missing out on the college experience. You know, I'll never get this time back here. And But I love it here every second of it and wouldn't change my mind one bit. How are you guys dealing with trying to stay safe? How, how hard is that, especially after you had a little, a little uh, outbreak a couple of weeks ago? Well, you know, our main thing is COVID etiquette. So like when we're outside of uh, practice, you know, just go wherever you go, just bring your masks. Um, you never know who you may come in contact with that has had it. And, you know, that's a big thing, close contact. So just like having um, our mask around, that's just how we deal with it. Just being safe, washing our hands and trying not to use stuff after each other and just being smart about it. Next question is from Gianna Hahn. Hey, so um, I heard that you have some interesting taste in music. How would you describe it? And what are the, so um, the songs you're listening to right now? Um, I'm more of a beats type of person, so I don't really listen to the lyrics. You know, I just listen to music that like gets me going, you know, uh, something that I can just hang out and like listen to. So I wouldn't say it's like anything slow or anything like that. I like it loud, you know, I like the beat dumping and stuff like that. But I guess like one of my favorite artists right now would probably be like Roddy Rich or something like that, I guess. Follow-up from Tom Green. Hey, Jamie, what have you seen from uh, Marco Damio this preseason camp so far? Um, He's been great, you know, like since he first got here and we started practicing, you know, he's made some great plays. Like he's had a few interceptions and, you know, it amazed me. And then we go to meetings and we watch him on the replay and it's just like, wow, that's a great play. Um, Him coming from a Juco, like it feels like he hasn't like missed the beat at all. You know, he stepped in right away, started making plays and uh, he's just been out there competing. You know, the receivers give him great looks. He gives the receiver great looks and he just comes out there with consistency every day and he gives his effort as best as he can. I feel like he'll be a great player for us. All right, next question is from Mark. Yeah, I wanted to ask you, have you uh, talked to Daniel Thomas since he found out he made the, uh, the roster of the Jaguars, and, uh, and if he did, what did he say? And also, how important is it for the front four to get the pass rush going again this year, and what kind of potentials do they have? Thanks. I haven't talked to Daniel since he made the 53 roster, I don't think, but like since he's been drafted, you know, we've communicated back and forth a, a bunch of times, and I feel like he has a great chance to like, be a starter in the NFL. Um, while he was here, he was – he was a great mentor for me. Him and Jeremiah, they helped me with the playbook. They always had, anytime I had a question, they always answered it. You know, never like, like gave me the hand or anything. Like they, they talked, talked me through it. They helped me out. They were there like every step of the way. So it was like when I got out there on the field for game time, you know, I didn't have to think because I knew like they were going to help me or they'll be right there next to me and I already know where they'll be at. And what was your second question? The, about the pass rush, how's that coming along from the front four? The front four, they look great. You know, you got leaders up front like Big Cat, Trues, Newkirk, you know, TD. You know, they, they've been giving great looks all practice. Um, they look real explosive off the ball, and I think they'll be great for us this fall as well.